Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So on this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to install and use a uh, composer uh, dependency management uh, for PHP. So what is composer? Composer is a dependency management app where it manages the libraries they use on your project. So you don't have to install or update them. You don't have to go to the website and download the package and put it in your project every time there's an upgrade. So this is also kind of similar to my last tutorial where I talked about Homebrew, a utility for the Mac for installing software. Um, but this one is mostly for PHP. Um, this was inspired, I know, by Node, which has the same utility, the NPM management tool. Anyway, uh, to get started, uh, to grab PHP Composer, you need to go to uh, their website, uh, https getcomposer.org. And from there, click on the download link. And there's already a script that you could copy and paste into your terminal uh, that would run the installer for you. So there's four lines. One is copying the Composer installer. There's a hash check to make sure that that is the right file and it's running the composer and next is unlinking it. So to get started, open your terminal. I have the terminal open here and I want to go to my um, sites folder, which is here where I want to install composer. So I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it composer tutorial. And you could do this and see and copy and you should be on that directory. So I'm going to just minimize that and I'm going to paste the script here. So as you can see, it's finished installing and if I do a list, I should see a composer uh, file here. So you can check if it's working by putting PHP and saying composer that far, and you should get all the commands for the composer here. Uh, so this is just locally installed on that directory and it's not installed globally on my computer. So if I go one directory up and say, Type the same command it would say cannot could not open input file composer.far so you need to move it to a directory that's global to your computer so to do that let me go back to that directory to a list as you can see it's called uh, PHAR that's a PHP archive it's not uh, a typical PHP file so we're going to move that to the user local bin directory so it's installed uh, globally on my machine so you could do mv which is move type the file composer far your target directory would be user local bin and this time i'm just going to call it composer without the extension at the end and that should install it on my machine. If I do a list, you can see that the directory is now clean and I could just call Composer anywhere. So that's how easy to install it. Um, let's go a little bit deeper in the topic. So how to use it? There's two ways that you could use it. Um, going back to the website, you could click on getting started and scroll down a little bit. Nope, let's go to the documentation. Uh, that's right getting started and basic usage so you could create a composer.json file with this structure so this require and then the name of the package monologue uh, slash monologue and then the version let's try that <clears throat> I'm gonna teach you this version and then the other version so I have a code editor VX code that I'm just gonna open <clears throat> um, create a composer.json file 
and I'm going to paste that file in there and I'm going to open the terminal from here so it's easier uh, and I just say composer install Cool. Uh, so you can see it's now created um, several more files in here. Uh, the first one is the composer.lock file. So basically this grab all the other the dependent versions for the composer and store this on this composer.lock file. You should, if you're using version control or you're distributing your app, you should include this file. So this would make sure when they try to install uh, your app, it would use the same version that you currently are using on your machine. So let's open the vendor file. So the vendor file will include the composer and then the actual library that we uh, specified on our require. So that would be the Vonalog and there's an auto load file. So this auto load file would be basically loading all the libraries inside um, the vendor directory. So let's create a file. I'm going to call it index.php and I'm going to go back to their website and they have a handy script here to call that. So I'm just going to copy this, switch back to Xcode. So this is calling the directory. This is creating a new instance of that monologue class or library and it's outputting the info to an app log file which we don't have and it's creating a warning so let's create a new file let's call it app log just make sure this is safe now the permission of app log file is not uh, open since I'm on a Mac I need to make sure the permissions are open so I'm just gonna do a chai mode and make the file writable by using 777 and log and that should be it so if I open that directory on my computer composer dash tutorial and open it up so blank page no error go back to my directory and open the app log you can see that it created a uh, entry apply warning foe so keep on refreshing and you can see that so it's that easy to um, install libraries on the Mac uh, using composer I mean so let's try another method so I'm back here I'm just gonna create a new folder and say composer tutorial Two. As you can see, this one's a blank directory. So, but <clears throat> I'm gonna open the terminal from here. Instead of specifying a composer.json like we did on that tutorial, we're just gonna say composer require monologue monologue. So this is doing the same thing. But this is grabbing the latest version and from my directory you can see it created the same structure let's open that on VX code and do a quick examination so you can see here it grabbed the latest version it has the same structure and everything so that's another way for you to uh, quickly spin up a project uh, using just a require it would create the uh, related composer JSON for you. Cool. Um, one more thing is if you're wondering where it got the monologue.monologue, monologue, that's coming from the packages.org directory. So this is where all the libraries are hosted. So if I search for monologue, this is the 
package we just downloaded and there's heaps more here so if you want to check out the documentation the latest version um, you could go to packages.org and another thing is this is the default repository so you could actually configure composer to look into a different repository so if you have your own repo you could point it there and it would grab the uh, version that uh, you want cool so that's it for this tutorial I uh, hope you like it so if you want more of this if you have some questions or comments or some additional info you would like to share hit it on the comments below um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel I also set up some patreon if you want to support me just check it out on my about on this channel thanks cheers bye